In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. One God. Amen. My fathers, priests, my brothers, deacons, my fathers, my mothers, my brothers, my sisters, children of God, children of the Sunday School, Devanantarachu, Devanantarachu, Amen. May the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ be praised, worshipped, and glorified together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and through the ages of ages. Amen. So, today, during the Gatasi, we were reading from the Gospel of Matthew, from chapter 6. And uh, there is a part in chapter 6 where it t talks about the treasure. So all of us here, all of us here, we have a treasure. And this treasure we keep in our hearts. And our Lord and Savior Jesus, Jesus Christ, He talks about this treasure. So the treasure is something that we really value, that we might, it might be something that we want to get, we want to collect. So you can think of in your heart, oh, this is the future, this is what I you want to get, this is what I, the, the treasure that you want to collect. And the Lord talks about this treasure. He, he tells us what our treasure should be. And we find this in Matthew chapter 6, verse 19. He says to us, do not lay up for yourself treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, your heart will be also. Can you say it with me? For where your treasure is, your heart will be also. May our Lord be praised for these words. That's it. You say Amen. Amen. So he said, lay up treasure where? In heaven or on earth? He said, lay up your treasure in where? In heaven. And not on earth. So don't lay up your treasure on earth, he said, lay it where? In heaven. And if your treasure is in heaven, your heart will also be in heaven. If your treasure is here on earth, your heart will also be on earth. So why did he tell us not to collect? You read it, right? I just read it. Why did he say not, not to it on earth? Why, why not on earth? Why not collect on earth? Who can tell me? Very simple answer. Why not? Why, why did he say? Who could tell me? Yes. He wants us to go to heaven. That's correct. What else? He says, this is what he says, Do not lay up yourself treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. So if you lay treasures on earth, Thieves can steal it, and it could rust, and it could, uh, during, uh, through age, what happens to it, it will be destroyed. So whatever you collect on earth, its end result is that you will lose it. You will lose it. Why is it that you will lose it? Go ahead. Yes. So that means that when you, you might have collected something, you get old, and then you pass away. Oh, and when you go to the next world, are you going to take the treasure together with you? No, you're not going to take the treasure together with you. So that's why he's saying, either it will rust, or it will decay, or it will be stolen, or somebody else will take it. So you, you do collect these things to lose them. 
So he says, be wise. Be what? Be wise. If you're wise, you will collect treasures that you'll never lose. Right? Isn't that wise? You'll collect treasures that you'll never lose. And to do that, you should collect treasure in heaven. Because if you have treasure in heaven, what happens after you die? Where do you go? And then where, what do you have over there? And how long would you have it? Forever. Are you guys with me? So Christ is telling us how to be wise so that we collect the treasures in heaven. Can you tell me some of the treasures on earth? Can you tell me some of the treasures on earth? Yes. What? Gold. Very good. Yes. Money. What else? What? Silver. Okay. Coins. Yeah. Gems. Yes. Diamonds. What else? How about big houses? You know what I'm going to say? Okay, sorry. What else? Huh? Rubies? What else? Cars? Yes. Your house? Yes. Big mansions? Yes. Yes. Jets? So all of these things are what? They're treasures on earth. And he says all of these things, you might have them, but you will lose them. So please be wise. So he says be wise, so collect treasures in heaven. So what is the treasure in heaven? Tell me. So what should you co collect? Alright, let's say it together. Say virtue. Say virtue. virtue. So collect collect those. So can you tell me some virtues? Yes. Hmm? Humility? Humility, perfect. So throughout your life to be try to be more and more what? Humble. What else? Giving to the poor. Exactly. So if you have money, how do you change it to heavenly treasure? By giving it to the poor. But what's the virtue there? What's the virtue? It's benevolence, right? It's goodness. So you're becoming virtuous when you give. So it's a treasure in heaven. What else? That's right, giving to other people, or I can say it, love, okay? Love is a big virtue, so grow in love through time, so that is a treasure in heaven. What else? Being selfless, similar to humility, it's like thinking about others versus yourself. What else? Obedience, very good. Obedience is a great virtue. What else? Can you be loved? Being beautiful in the inside, having a beautiful soul. That is correct. That's the that's heavenly treasure. So these are what? The heavenly treasure. Let me add some more. Patience, long-suffering, prudence, right? Uh, joy. <coughs> joy itself. Being filled with the Holy Spirit. Service. Serving God. Prayer. Growing in prayer. All of these are heavenly what? Treasures. So collect these. And when you go to heaven, you will have these treasures. And you will have great, great, great heavenly mansions. Are you with me? So this is what we ought to do. So Christ tells us. Let us have what? Let us collect that our treasures be in heaven. These are virtues. So if we say that, we still need some of the earthly things, but they are not our treasures. Are you with me? We still need our some of the earthly things, and but they are not our treasures. They are our necessities. 
So there is a difference between necessities and what? Treasure. So there is necessity and then there is treasure. And our Lord, He says, God, he, our Lord, He says, I am your Father. And the, your Father in Heaven knows what you need. So in Matthew chapter 6, verse um, 32, for all these things the Gentiles seek. So he's talking about clothing, he's talking about food, he's talking about a place to live, all of these things the Gentiles need. And then he says, all uh, your father, your father knows that you need all these things. So let me ask you this question. Are you guys with me? I'm going to finish with this. What are you guys going to eat tomorrow? Okay, you know what you're going to eat tomorrow. But do you worry about what you're going to eat tomorrow? Who worries about it? After God, who worries about it? Mommy and Daddy, right? So you trust Mommy and Daddy that they are going to feed you tomorrow, right? You don't worry about what, am I going to have money? Am I going to Do you worry about all of this? No. So when you grow up, are you going to continue to rely on Mommy and Daddy? No, right? However, who are you going to rely on? Your Heavenly Father, right? Similarly, about tomorrow, your Heavenly Father also thinks for you. How much more does He think for you if your parents think for you today? So that's why He's saying that do not worry about what you eat, do not worry about what you drink. For your Father in Heaven, look at the birds He feeds them, look at the flowers He clothes them. So He will also, if you are so much more, He will do the same. So don't worry, and worry about the heavenly treasure. Worry about the kingdom of God. He says, but seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. All these things will be what? Added to you, will be given to you. But first seek the treasures in heaven. May our name, when the, may the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ be praised, worshiped, and glorified together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and through the ages of ages. Amen.